Critical theory is a school of thought that stresses the reflective assessment and critique of society and culture by applying knowledge from the social sciences and the humanities. As a term, critical theory has two meanings with different origins and histories, the first originated in sociology and the second originated in literary criticism, whereby it is used and applied as an umbrella term that can describe a theory founded upon critique, thus, the theorist Max Horkheimer described a theory as critical insofar as it seeks to liberate human beings from the circumstances that enslave them. In sociology and political philosophy, the term critical theory describes the neo-Marxist philosophy of the Frankfurt School, which was developed in Germany in the 1930s. This use of the term requires proper noun capitalization, whereas a critical theory or a critical social theory may have similar elements of thought, but not stress its intellectual lineage specifically to the Frankfurt School. Frankfurt School critical theorists drew on the critical methods of Karl Marx and Sigmund Freud. Critical theory maintains that ideology is the principal obstacle to human liberation. Critical theory was established as a school of thought primarily by the Frankfurt School theoreticians Herbert Marcuse, Theodor Adorno, Max Horkheimer, Walter Benjamin, and Eric Frum. Modern critical theory has additionally been influenced by Georg Lukacs and Antonio Gramsci, as well as the second-generation Frankfurt School scholars, notably Jürgen Habermas. In Habermas's work, critical theory transcended its theoretical roots in German idealism and progressed closer to American pragmatism. Concern for social base and superstructure is one of the remaining Marxist philosophical concepts in much of contemporary critical theory. Postmodern critical theory politicizes social problems by situating them in historical and cultural contexts, to implicate themselves in the process of collecting and analyzing data, and to relativize their findings. Overview Critical theory, German, Kritische theory was first defined by Max Horkheimer of the Frankfurt School of Sociology in his 1937 essay Traditional and Critical Theory. Critical theory is a social theory oriented toward critiquing and changing society as a whole, in contrast to traditional theory oriented only to understanding or explaining it. Horkheimer wanted to distinguish critical theory as a radical, emancipatory form of Marxian theory, critiquing both the model of science put forward by logical positivism and what he and his colleagues saw as the covert positivism and authoritarianism of orthodox Marxism and communism. He described a theory as critical insofar as it seeks to liberate human beings from the circumstances that enslave them. Critical theory involves a normative dimension, either through criticizing society from some general theory of values, norms, or oughts, or through criticizing it in terms of its own espoused values. The core concepts of critical theory are as follows That critical social theory should be directed at the totality of society in its historical specificity, i.e., how it came to be configured at a specific point in time, and that critical theory should improve understanding of society by integrating all the major social sciences, including geography, economics, sociology, history, political science, anthropology, and psychology. This version of critical theory derives from Kant's 18th century and Marx's 19th century use of the term critique, as in Kant's critique of pure reason and Marx's concept that his work Das Kapital, Kapital forms a critique of political economy. For Kant's transcendental idealism, critique means examining and establishing the limits of the validity of a faculty, type, or body of knowledge, especially through accounting for the limitations imposed by the fundamental, irreducible concepts in use in that knowledge system. Kant's notion of critique has been associated with the overturning of false, unprovable, or dogmatic philosophical, social, and political beliefs, because Kant's critique of reason involved the critique of dogmatic theological and metaphysical ideas and was intertwined with the enhancement of ethical autonomy and the Enlightenment critique of superstition and irrational authority. Ignored by many in critical realist circles, however, is that Kant's immediate impetus for writing his critique of pure reason was to address problems raised by David Hume's skeptical empiricism which, in attacking metaphysics, employed reason and logic to argue against the knowability of the world and common notions of causation. 
Kant, by contrast, pushed the employment of a priori metaphysical claims as requisite, for if anything is to be said to be knowable, it would have to be established upon abstractions distinct from perceivable phenomena. Marx explicitly developed the notion of critique into the critique of ideology and linked it with the practice of social revolution, as stated in the famous eleventh of his theses on Feuerbach. The philosophers have only interpreted the world, in various ways, the point is to change it. One of the distinguishing characteristics of critical theory, as Adorno and Horkheimer elaborated in their Dialectic of Enlightenment 1947, is a certain ambivalence concerning the ultimate source or foundation of social domination, an ambivalence which gave rise to the «pessimism» of the new critical theory over the possibility of human emancipation and freedom. This ambivalence was rooted, of course, in the historical circumstances in which the work was originally produced, in particular, the rise of national socialism, state capitalism, and mass culture as entirely new forms of social domination that could not be adequately explained within the terms of traditional Marxist sociology. For Adorno and Horkheimer, state intervention in economy had effectively abolished the tension between the relations of production and material productive forces of society. A tension which, according to traditional critical theory, constituted the primary contradiction within capitalism. The market as an unconscious mechanism for the distribution of goods and private property had been replaced by centralized planning and socialized ownership of the means of production, yet, contrary to Marx's famous prediction in the preface to a contribution to the critique of political economy, this shift did not lead to an era of social revolution but rather to fascism and totalitarianism. As such, critical theory was left, in Jürgen Habermas' words, without anything in reserve to which it might appeal, and when the forces of production enter into a baneful symbiosis with the relations of production that they were supposed to blow wide open, there is no longer any dynamism upon which critique could base its hope. For Adorno and Horkheimer, this posed the problem of how to account for the apparent persistence of domination in the absence of the very contradiction that, according to traditional critical theory, was the source of domination itself. In the 1960s, Jürgen Habermas, a proponent of critical social theory, raised the epistemological discussion to a new level in his knowledge and human interests, by identifying critical knowledge as based on principles that differentiated it either from the natural sciences or the humanities, through its orientation to self-reflection and emancipation. Although unsatisfied with Adorno and Horkheimer's thought presented in Dialectic of Enlightenment, Habermas shares the view that, in the form of instrumental rationality, the era of modernity marks a move away from the liberation of enlightenment and toward a new form of enslavement. In Habermas's work, critical theory transcended its theoretical roots in German idealism, and progressed closer to American pragmatism. Habermas is now influencing the philosophy of law in many countries, for example the creation of the social philosophy of law in Brazil, and his theory also has the potential to make the discourse of law one important institution of the modern world as a heritage of the Enlightenment. His ideas regarding the relationship between modernity and rationalization are in this sense strongly influenced by Max Weber. Habermas dissolved further the elements of critical theory derived from Hegelian German idealism, although his thought remains broadly Marxist in its epistemological approach. Perhaps his two most influential ideas are the concepts of the public sphere and communicative action, the latter arriving partly as a reaction to new post-structural or so-called postmodern challenges to the discourse of modernity. Habermas engaged in regular correspondence with Richard Rorty and a strong sense of philosophical pragmatism may be felt in his theory, thought which frequently traverses the boundaries between sociology and philosophy. Critical theory and academic fields Postmodern critical social theory While modernist critical theory as described above concerns itself with "...forms of authority and injustice that accompanied the evolution of industrial and corporate capitalism as a political economic system," postmodern critical theory politicizes social problems by situating them in historical and cultural contexts, to implicate themselves in the process of collecting and analyzing data, and to relativize their findings." Meaning itself is seen as unstable due to the rapid transformation in social structures. As a result, the focus of research is centered on local manifestations, rather than broad generalizations. 
Postmodern critical research is also characterized by the crisis of representation, which rejects the idea that a researcher's work is an objective depiction of a stable other. Instead, many postmodern scholars have adopted alternatives that encourage reflection about the politics and poetics of their work. In these accounts, the embodied, collaborative, dialogic, and improvisational aspects of qualitative research are clarified. The term critical theory", is often appropriated when an author works within sociological terms, yet attacks the social or human sciences thus attempting to remain outside those frames of inquiry. Michel Foucault is one of these authors. Jean Baudrillard has also been described as a critical theorist to the extent that he was an unconventional and critical sociologist. This appropriation is similarly casual, holding little or no relation to the Frankfurt School. Jurgen Habermas of the Frankfurt School is one of the key critics of postmodernism. Critical theory is focused on language, symbolism, communication, and social construction. Topic: <laughs> Communication Studies. From the 1960s and 1970s onward, language, symbolism, text, and meaning came to be seen as the theoretical foundation for the humanities, through the influence of Ludwig Wittgenstein, Ferdinand de Saussure, George Herbert Mead, Noam Chomsky, Hans Georg Gadamer, Roland Barthes, Jacques Derrida, and other thinkers in linguistic and analytic philosophy, structural linguistics, symbolic interactionism, hermeneutics, semiology, linguistically oriented psychoanalysis, Jacques Lacan, Alfred Lorenzer, and Deacon construction, when, in the 1970s and 1980s, Jürgen Habermas redefined critical social theory as a study of communication, i.e. communicative competence and communicative rationality on the one hand, distorted communication on the other, the two versions of critical theory began to overlap to a much greater degree than before. Pedagogy <inaudible> <inaudible> Critical theorists have widely credited Paulo Freire for the first applications of critical theory towards education, pedagogy. They consider his best-known work, Pedagogy of the Oppressed, a seminal text in what is now known as the philosophy and social movement of critical pedagogy. For a history of the emergence of critical theory in the field of education, see Isaac Gottsman 2016, The Critical Turn in Education, From Marxist Critique to Poststructuralist Feminism to Critical Theories of Race New York, Routledge. Criticism <coughs> 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 While critical theorists have been frequently defined as Marxist intellectuals, their tendency to denounce some Marxist concepts and to combine Marxian analysis with other sociological and philosophical traditions has resulted in accusations of revisionism by classical, orthodox, and analytical Marxists, and by Marxist-Leninist philosophers. Martin Jay has stated that the first generation of critical theory is best understood as not promoting a specific philosophical agenda or a specific ideology, but as a gadfly of other systems. Critical theory has been criticized for not offering any clear road map to political action following critique, often explicitly repudiating any solutions such as with Herbert Marcuse's concept of the Great Refusal, which promoted abstaining from engaging in active political change. <laughs> See also Critical theory portal Outline of critical theory Topic. Lists Information criticism List of critical theorists List of works in critical theory Topic. Journals Constellations Representations Critical inquiry Telos Law and Critique Topic Footnotes Topic References Horkheimer, Max, nineteen eighty two. Critical Theory Selected Essays. New York, Continuum Pub. 
An accessible primer for the literary aspect of critical theory is Jonathan Culler's Literary Theory, a very short introduction ISBN 0-19285383 x Another short introductory volume with illustrations, Introducing Critical Theory Stuart Sim and Boren van Loon, 2001. ISBN 1-84046-264-7A Survey of an Introduction to the Current State of Critical Social Theory is Craig Calhoun's Critical Social Theory, Culture, History, and the Challenge of Difference Blackwell, 95. ISBN 1-55786-288-5 Problematizing Global Knowledge. Theory, Culture and Society. Volume 23 2-3, Sage, 2006. ISSN 0263-2764 Raymond Goose The Idea of a Critical Theory. Habermas and the Frankfurt School, Cambridge University Press, 1981. ISBN 0-521-28422-8 Charles Arthur Willard Liberalism and the Problem of Knowledge, A New Rhetoric for Modern Democracy. University of Chicago Press. 1996. Charles Arthur Willard, A Theory of Argumentation. University of Alabama Press. 1989. Charles Arthur Willard, Argumentation and the Social Grounds of Knowledge. University of Alabama Press. 1982. Harry Doms, ed., No Social Science Without Critical Theory. Volume 25 of Current Perspectives in Social Theory Emerald, J., 2008. Charmas, K. 1995. Between Positivism and Postmodernism, Implications for Methods. Studies in Symbolic Interaction, 17, 43-72. Conkergood, D. 1991. Rethinking Ethnography, Towards a Critical Cultural Politics PDF. Communication Monographs. 58 to 179 to 194-10.1080-0363775910937622. Gandler, Stefan in German, Fragmentos de Frankfurt. Enseos sobre la teoria critica, México, siglo XXI editors, Universidad Autónoma de Curitaro, ISBN 978-607-03-0070-7 Lindloff, T. R., and Taylor, B. C. 2002. Qualitative Communication Research Methods, 2nd edition. Thousand Oaks, C. A., Sage. Morgan, Marcia, 2012. Kierkegaard and Critical Theory. New York, Lexington Books. An example of critical postmodern work is Rowling Jr., J. H. 2008. Secular Blasphemy, Utter ed. Transgressions Against Names and Fathers in the Postmodern Era. Qualitative Inquiry, 14, 926-948. Thomas, Jim. 1993. Doing Critical Ethnography. London, New York, NY, Sage 1993, pp. 1 5 and 17 25. An example of critical qualitative research is Tracy, S.J., 2000. Becoming a Character for Commerce Emotion Labor, Self Subordination and Discursive Construction of Identity in a Total Institution. Management Communication Quarterly, 14, 90 128. Eduardo C. B. Bitter, Democracy, Justice and Human Rights, Studies of Critical Theory and Social Philosophy of Law. Saarbrücken, Lambert, 2016. Luca Corchia, La Logica dei Processi Culturali. Jürgen Habermas tra Filosofia e Sociologia, Geneva, Edizioni e Sig, 2010, ISBN 978-88-7544-195-1. Axel Honneth, La Société du Mepris. Vers une nouvelle théorie critique, La Découverte, 2006 ISBN 978-2707147721 Topic External links Critical Theory, Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy The Frankfurt School and Critical Theory. Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Gerhardt, Christina. Frankfurt School, The International Encyclopedia of Revolution and Protest. Ness, Emanuel, ed. Blackwell Publishing, 2009. Blackwell Reference Online. Theory, Death is Not the End, N Plus One Magazine's Short History of Academic Critical Theory. Critical Legal Thinking A Critical Legal Studies website which uses critical theory in an analysis of law and politics. L. Corkia, Jürgen Habermas. A Bibliography, Works and Studies 1952-2013, Pisa, Edizioni Il Campano, Arnus University Books, 2013, 606 pages. 
Sim, S., and Van Loon, B. 2009. Introducing Critical Theory, A Graphic Guide. Icon Books Ltd. Topic Archival Collections Guide to the Critical Theory Offprint Collection. Special Collections and Archives, The UC Irvine Libraries, Irvine, Cali Guide to the Critical Theory Institute Audio and Video Recordings, University of California, Irvine. Special Collections and Archives, The UC Irvine Libraries, Irvine, California. University of California, Irvine, Critical Theory Institute Manuscript Materials. Special Collections and Archives, The UC Irvine Libraries, Irvine, California.